Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Food Hill. Thank you guys for joining me in another recipe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken pot pie. This chicken pot pie has a very flaky crust and a very creamy sauce which is a mixture of crunchy vegetables and lots of chicken pieces. It's quite easy to make. Please stay tuned and see how I make my chicken pot pie. Start by bringing your chicken breast into a medium sized pot. I'm using one and a half chicken breast. Also add in 900 ml of water. Go in with two crushed garlic cloves. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt. One crushed bouillon cube and lastly two sprigs of thyme. You can now turn on the heat, place the lid over the pot and let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. While the chicken is cooking, just go ahead and prepare the rest of the veggies for your chicken pot pie filling. Once you're done chopping up all your veggies, you can set this aside. So after about 20 minutes of cooking our chicken, we are sure the chicken is pretty much done. If your chicken isn't done, don't worry about it. It will continue cooking in the oven. So I'm just going to transfer this into a dish. Reserve the stock for later use. You can rest the chicken a little bit and then transfer this to a chopping board. Using two forks, shred the chicken into small pieces. You can as well use your clean hands to shred the chicken. Whichever way is better for you, you can just use that. Once you're done shredding your chicken, you can set it aside. So we're going to move on to the next preparation. Place a large pan on the stove top. Add 5 tablespoons of butter to the pan. Once the butter has melted, go in with your chopped onion. Saute this for 2 minutes until fragrant. After 2 minutes, go in with your minced garlic, celery, and carrots. I'm going to list down the quantity of ingredients that I use for this chicken pot pie in the description box below. You can check it out. Also go in with 1 teaspoon of freshly chopped thyme. Stir everything together and cook this for about 3 minutes until the carrots and celery are softened. Next, go in with a third cup of all-purpose flour. Just sprinkle this all over the pan. And then stir this and cook for about 2 to 3 minutes until the smell of the flour is gone. So you make sure to stir this so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Now you're going to add the reserved stock. So gradually add in 2 and a half cups of the reserved stock into it and then stir to deglaze the pan. You 
can add the remaining stock and stir to combine. Now we're going to add more seasoning to it. So I'm going in with some Creole seasoning, all purpose seasoning, and then black pepper. I'm also adding in a tablespoon of chopped parsley. After that, I'm just going to stir everything together. You can test this first before adding salt, so I'm just going to skip the salt. It doesn't need any salt. Now, adding one cup of heavy cream. And stir this together. You can cook this for a minute and then go in with one cup of frozen peas. And also return the cooked chicken. Stir all together, let this combine beautifully. Cook for 3 minutes until the sauce heats up and also thicken up nicely. Three minutes you can just come back to it stir and test for salt and pepper if it needs any salt or pepper you can add to your test at this point I'm satisfied with the taste and the aroma of my chicken pot pie filling I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the stove you can leave this to cool down a little bit Next, we are going to prepare the crust for our chicken pot pie. I have my homemade puff pastry here. I've made a video regarding this, so I'm just going to put the link to the video so you can check this out. So just simply dust the puff pastry with some flour and then roll it out to the shape of the pan you're going to use. I'm going to be using a 9 inch square pan. This seems like a lot. You can just use any pie dish you have. I'm just going to use my rolling pin to wrap up the puff pastry and then transfer it to the pan. You can simply tuck in the edges. Or you simply trim it off. So you simply poke this with a fork a few times to create vents for your steam to move out. Once you're done, we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for just 10 minutes. Once your bottom crust is out of the oven, you should have these beautiful edges. Okay, looks, this looks really beautiful. And at the same time, our filling for the chicken pot pie must have cooled down. So we are just going to pour this inside go ahead and level this with a spoon just spread this out evenly also roll out the other puff pastry sheet and place it over the chicken pot pie. We're also going to tuck in the edges.
You can also create some veins to allow the steam out. You can brush the surface of the cross with an egg wash. So I just added a tablespoon of water to wix the egg and I'm just going to use a pastry brush to brush it. The egg wash will provide your chicken pot pie with golden and crispy edges. Once you're done brushing the puff pastry, bake it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes or until your chicken pot pie comes out really golden. So guys, here is your chicken pot pie. It looks really crusty on the outside. Once it's out of the oven, you should leave this to cool for at least 10 minutes before you cut into it. And once your chicken pot pie has cooled down for 10 minutes, you can use a small knife to cut into it. Oh my god, this looks so yummy. I'm already salivating. You can see the beautiful feeling in there. And I can't just wait to have a taste of this. The chicken and then the veggies. Oh, this tastes so good. How can I convince you enough that this chicken pot pie is really amazing? It's one of the most yummy and delicious recipes so far. I hope you try this out. Let me know what you think about this chicken pot pie recipe. You can leave your comments below and also like the video and share with your friends. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed and hit the bell button so you don't miss any video. Until next time, guys, I love to see you very soon. Bye.